Hello everybody, Eddie V here and welcome to Ed's Fish Tank Travels. Today is a different type of vlog. So first thing off, this vlog by the time you watch it might be two weeks old because here's what we're gonna do. We, I ordered stuff from Live Aquaria for fish. I'm not gonna tell you what they are right as of now. But here's another thing, my stuff like Murray eel is not doing so well. I mean, he's moving and everything, he's eating. But he's not as active. I've been told that maybe I'm feeding him too much and too often. So I'm going to slow it down to one week on the silver sides. So we'll see what happens after. And I'll let you guys know. That's why this uh, vlog is going to be around two weeks old. But first things off, this is what we're going to do. If you have a sump wet dry filter at your house, basically your filter media now is universal. So what we're going to do is we actually are going to buy a three-pack Aquatech. It has carbon fiber, I mean, not carbon fiber, sorry, activated carbon in it right away and works as a filter pad. So if we can get these types um, and put them underneath in my sump system that I have, it'll be a blast because it'll be catching a lot of debris and it'll be active like carbon. So this is all I'm uh, mentioning around. This is exactly what I am going to get for my sump as of now. All right, guys, let's see if this experiment really gonna work. I'm gonna set this aside because I'm tired of all this dirty filter pads. I'll grab them, put them down here, pick this gate up. Grab it. Oh man, this is so dirty. Put it here, set it aside, pick this up. To a small problem, but I think it's fixable. I hope, anyway. There's got to be a way to put this in here. Alright, so I managed to put all three in, but I had to remove this crate out of there. Don't worry, I'll just have to wash it. That's it. So, or reduce evaporation. I could just put it on top after washing it. And that should work. Uh, Alright guys, so it's 10 o'clock on Tuesday. And I received my live aquaria order. My very first live aquaria. Got my box cutter to cut this. Carefully. Alright, I should be able to open it up. Step by step, step acclimation, which I know how to do. I got live aquaria, say 15%. Uh huh, December 31st, not bad. And I got, do not release note. Uh, I did get this. A, another one of these cool looking magazines with this nice flash or fairy wrasse on there all right Ooh. so I'm opening it up right now hopefully none of them are yeah what is this oh this is a heat warmer thing so it keeps them at constant temperature not bad at all all right so first bag Can't really tell with the black bag. Let's turn on the lights and see what we can see. So this right now, I will gently grab the bag and like flip it so I can see what's in this one. That's my long nosed butterfly fish. Pretty cool looking. He's right there. So into the water aquarium he goes for a uh, 15 minute water acclimation. And luckily, guess what guys? I have a sump to put this all in. So we're gonna let him float in the sump for a little bit. All right, he's alive. He's not a dead on arrival. 
which is good. Next up, another bag. We have what appears to be Hold on if I can find it. I hope the, this fish is alive here. There's not a lot of air in this one. So. And in here we have Sailfin Tang. That looks to be quite well alive. Alright, he's going in there. For sure, you can remove the black things here in just a second. And let's go to the next fish. Alright, next bag. So, next bag we have probably a yellow tank, if I'm not mistaken. And, nope, it's my Dory. It's my Regal Blue. Not bad looking so far but I was expecting it a little bit bigger but I think it's just the right size for my tank as far as I know so I'm gonna put it in the sump again next up we have let's see here the yellow tank it's it's the biggest fish out of all of them definitely alive and definitely ready to go to um, get acclimated all right, good day for all of this. Now it's time to acclimate them. All right, so about 15 minutes went by and this is what the yellow tang looks like. So far, so good. We got the regal tang in here. I don't know if you can see it, but it's there. There she is. We got the sail open in this bag and the yellow on the butterfly and this one all right guys so here goes the water and water method and i'm going to be doing it for uh around we'll do a good 20 minutes every five minutes a full cup into that bag but here we go all right so after the acclimation looks like everybody is ready and we're gonna go ahead and release the fish and when the lights turn on, I'll show you guys what how they're acting. Alright guys, so I released the fish. Some of them are hiding. The long, yellow long nosed butterfly fish are already doing gorgeous. So we'll see what happens next. That's the yellow tan doing green. The regal tan is obviously hiding, but alright, we'll see how they're doing in a couple hours. Alright guys, alright guys, uh Back, I'm here back again after the lights turned on. So, sailfin doing great. Yellow tang doing great. Butterfly fish doing great as well. Moving around, getting more active as time goes by. Um, the regal tang is was getting more active. So uh, moving around a lot on the rocks. Let's see here. Try to find her. There's the regal tank. She's in there. And there she is. She's doing just fine. We'll see. I'll update it. I'll keep this updated yet. Alright, so things got more active. The regal is moving more. Same thing with the uh, butterfly fish, except he's staying in that same area so far, so I'm keeping a close eye on him. Yellow tang is gorgeous, so he's a sail fin. Everybody look, looks like getting along peacefully. So far, anyway. We'll see what happens later. All right, so right now we can see everybody is more active. Doing very well. All 
Alright guys, so as you all know, it's beginning to do a little bit better. Just trying to make him feed. Not feeding yet, so I'll take him to feed soon. Alright, so everybody is happy so far with this thing. Come feed him. All right, guys. So um, about two weeks has gone by. The regal tang is doing beautiful, and sailfin is doing beautiful and healthy. So is the yellow, and so is the butterfly. The old long those butterfly fish picking out things, eating a lot of food. Haven't got it to feed frozen yet, but I'm still trying. So I got the regal tang doing great. Everybody's doing great and healthy. So I give Live Aquaria a 9 out of 10. The reason I didn't do, do 10 out of 10 is because I thought the Regal Tang would be a bigger size. But it's okay. So I definitely encourage mine from Live Aquaria.